Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the room, AJ McLean. McLean. There we go. All right. Hey, welcome. Thank you for having me. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, love having you here with us today. We got lots to talk about. Speaking of music, <laughs> yes, which you are very well known for. You started off when you were 14 years old. You, uh -huh. Are you not the first member? I am the founding member of Backstreet Boys. Uh, right. You know, for me, it was 1992 yeah. when everything started for me. So it's it's already been 30 years, but I'm going to say officially when the actual group was formed in 1993 april april 20th of this year will be our dirty 30. wow yeah and anything special on the way yeah um you know uh, th this is our 30th anniversary year yeah. right right uh you know we've been on back on the road now since um wow since last summer mm -hmm. okay. obviously because the world shut down we lost two years mm -hmm. um so uh, once this once this run is done then we can start to focus on what we may or may not do by the end of the year. But on April 20th, the, the, the only thing I know I'm doing that day is I'm going to live stream a tattoo. Uh, I'm finally going to get a Backstreet Boys tattoo. Hey! Oh, okay. I've, I've, been, I've been waiting for some milestone moment, and I do believe 30 where years. Where are you going to put it? There's like That's the big cold. question. Right. I have That's no cold. idea There's where I'm going to put it yet. Yeah, uh, I'll find somewhere. I mean, I, I, I've, I've got plenty of real estate yeah. left. AJ, we were talking earlier to our listeners about your first concert, okay? Mm -hmm. And a lot of them said Backstreet Boys. A lot of wow. them said that. So I want to ask you, what? because we asked Kiefer Sutherland when he was here last week. Nice. He said it was <clears throat> Sticks. Let's go back in time. What was your first concert? First concert was Jackson 5 Victory Tour oh. um, at Joe Robbie Stadium in Miami Beach, Florida. Um, I was about six years old. Apparently, I fell asleep halfway through, through the show because, you know, That's most... That's you do when you're a kid. Yeah, when you're a kid, you're like, yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay. But, but I'll never, ever forget the intro to the show. They had this massive screen. They came out in these, like, sparkled body suits to, uh, can you feel it? Can you, you feel, feel it? it? Yeah. Can you feel it? And I was just like, my eyes were out of my head and my chin was on the floor and I was with my mom and my grandparents and I was just, in, I was in awe. And uh, it's, it's, it's kind of weird because I'm not a big concert guy. Like I don't see a lot of shows. Right. Which is weird since I do that for a living. I know. It's got to be very specific artists. Um, I think truly the, the most recent concert I saw that I thought was absolutely mind-blowing was Silk Sonic back in Las back in Las Vegas. Oh, I wanted to see that. Unbelievable oh, show. So good. Incredible show. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we go back in time. We're talking about concerts, and we're talking about, you know, your 30th anniversary. What do you want to say to all the fans out there that are listening right now to Chum? First of all, good morning, everyone. Yeah. Um, whether you're on your way to work or school or wherever you're going, um, thank you. Thank you for 30 amazing years. Um, thank you for continuing to be supportive of each of us individually, us as a group. Uh, we truly do have the best fans in the entire world. And before the U.S. even knew who we were, Canada was first. You guys, literally, it all started up in Montreal, uh, and then it just spread like wildfire all the way across Canada. So hats off to you guys here. And I... Plus, I love I love To. It's funny when I tell people that I live in To, they're like, Toronto. I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm in I'm in Thousand Oaks, California. Uh, no, but, no, no, no. <laughs> but everybody in Thousand Oaks calls it To. Oh, so oh, I didn't, know that I didn't put two and two together until it was too late. I was like, oh, yep. Uh, but right. I would totally move here in a heartbeat. I love it here. Right. I absolutely we love, love it. you too. AJ we McLean. Too. Like now, and it's not McLean, McLean. everybody. McLean <laughs> from the Backstreet Boys. Uh, just before I wrap this up, I just want to ask, what was your favorite BSB song ever? Oh, that's a good one. Um, wow. I mean, honestly, uh, is it like everybody's? I want it that way. Was like uh, everybody. I mean, right? that's like, that's a universal one. But right. I think for me personally, a song called Siberia. Okay. Which was on the Black and Blue record, hence the shirt I'm wearing today. Uh, yes. This is vintage, by the way. <laughs> um, that song is just really kind of haunting, and it's just got such an amazing melody. Uh, unfortunately, it was never a single, but we did have it in the show. Right. Uh, you know, but I mean, there's so many greats. We've been so blessed to have so many great, amazing songs. Fans, yeah. Um, for us, it's always about the music first and then the fans and then each other. So, uh, if any of my, and, if, and you know, if any of my boys are actually listening, what's up fellas, I'll see you guys in about three weeks to go back on the road <laughs> to wrap up the DNA world tour. Finally.